right, you have four minutes. There's your clock. Starts now. Thank you. Hi, familiar faces here. My name is Ali Bakhtasar, founder and CEO of Plasmos. We are building reusable third stage, similar to how SpaceX built first stage, second stage reusable. We are building a third stage. Um, well, my background, I've built and flown over 200 rockets, uh, burned myself twice as well, which is not written there. I think it should be. Um, I've been a director at Airbus um, when I was 25 years old, sold my first company actually eight months ago, so that also has to be corrected. Yeah. Um, recipient of Einstein visa uh, within two weeks after I applied. I think the US government is pretty fast. Um, and um, so the problem I'm trying to solve is satellites can't still get to their final orbit. As the SpaceX is building this giant infrastructure to launch satellites into, or payload in, into different uh, planes in a space, and as you can see there, from 1957 to 2021, uh, it has been a pretty, pretty crazy increase of number of satellites. Just 2021, about 1,700 satellites being launched there. They can't still get to their final destinations, and if they can, it's pretty expensive. So what we think is that the answer is build a reusable spacecraft to meet this demand. And um, that's, that's kind of what we are trying to do. So with that, I'm introducing space truck. Truck, space, space truck. So what, what that is, is that you can put um, payload around it, uh, which can carry around two, 325 kilogram payload around it, can carry up to 20 kilogram payload inside it, and the entire vehicle is 3D printed and can weigh, weigh almost 60 kilogram only. It's a spy agnostic, can sit on any uh, vehicle, can sit on a SpaceX 15-inch spy ring, and uh, can sit on a Virgin Orbit uh, system as well. And with that, we can get you to a specific destinations or bring back a payload. The market for that in the next 10 years is anticipated to be 15,000 satellites to be launched, out of that 15,000 satellites, we are expecting to charge about 500K for each of those um, satellites or launches, and that comes to a $8 billion market. We move fast. Um, I move fast to the United States, but also the company is moving fast. From the ideation to, to where we are, we built a very special engine which hasn't been done. Uh, before, it's working in electric mode and chemical mode, so sort of like Prius in a space. And we ideated with that, we uh, designed it, we manufactured it, we tested it, it works. And now we are manufacturing the first spacecraft, which is being demonstrated on 10th of February, exactly one year after I have got to the United States. And we are launching this system in January 2024 to space to demonstrate its capability. So. Everyone is invited. Thank you. All right, thank you, Ali. Hey, I Emily knows a few things about reusable spacecraft, so uh, <laughs> let, let's start with her. Yeah, sure. Um, thanks so much for presenting. This was an awesome presentation. Um, I have a question about how you think about the role of this the product, a third stage like this. Um, relative um, to space tugs, which there, there are a lot of companies that are building tugs that stay in orbit and will rendezvous with a satellite to take that satellite to a, a higher orbit. And you don't actually need to launch that. Like The pitch is essentially you don't need to launch that, launch that extra mass. And um, so I'm curious how you, like the economics differ. Like Why have you gone with a third stage rather than actually a, a tug that exists in space and does repeat missions? Um, yeah, we'd love to, a little more color on that. Yeah, so um, I think those companies have a great mission, but I also see that there is, it's pretty hard. When I look at companies that manufacture satellites, and when I go in their clean room, and I'm like, oh, you know, holy shit, this is really hard to, to move. It's very sensitive equipment mm -hmm. that you want to touch on. The center of gravity in every satellite uh, is, is, is different. Mm -hmm. So when you look at those elements, I, I saw a hardship in designing a universal system that can grab any satellite and, and tow them to another destination. So I said, well, why don't we you know, build a spacecraft that is super lightweight, or a spacecraft is, is fairly light, and integrate things on, on the Earth launch it to a space, and then bring back the spacecraft so customers don't have to pay for an entire system to get up there, which is probably what's going to happen in the first you know, years of these tugs being launched. 
So I wanted to, to be kind of a bit greedy in the business economics to say, I want to get the revenue while we are proving out even the concept. So even if the reusable part doesn't work, the system is, is very cheap because the engine tanks, the whole thing is printed in one print 170 hours. So for us, it's like, well, let's make that with the engineering manufacturing side of it uh, efficient enough so we can get value out of it. And uh, on the other side, we can deliver things uh, in, in where they want to go and bring back our system. And the economics are actually very interesting. Happy to dig into the details of that as well. Great. Mark? Well, you've got my interest, uh, particularly that you've, uh, you've already built and sold another business. Thank you. So uh, that, 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 that's good. And I, I like the way that you're uh, seemingly doing everything very quickly. Um, it's quite incredible, the, uh, the time frame that you've set for yourself, uh, which, I, which I fully support doing things quickly. Um, one of the things that you said that really interested me was about um, bringing the payload back. Did, did you mean that this same vehicle can actually um, c come, come back to Earth? Yeah. So um, that's a big market in its own right, I believe. It's a big market in its own, and it has got, since we started pitching this concept as a generic concept, we've got customers that are actually interested to say, hey, I'll give you this payload, you can do on-orbit servicing with it, and you can bring it back. Or we can give you this payload, you can bring it to another destination since you can land it in a controlled way. So it's, it's both big markets. We are really focused on building that universal technology that can land. My focus, my background is also partially in AI. So my interest is to get the data for reentry, kind of double down on that in the long run so we know how to, how to deal with reentries. And if we can handle reentry on Earth from orbit, we can handle reentry on any other planet as well. So that's kind of my vision for very far-fetched future of so this the, company. So the reentry is something much further down in your uh, development pipeline. Absolutely. Tess? I first want to clarify that your demo day wasn't February, isn't February 9th, 2022. It's next it year, is. right? Yeah. 23. We haven't missed it. Uh, no, no. Demo 23. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. But Febru February 9th, yeah. Honeyville. OK. Yeah. It's coming up. Just wanted to make sure we didn't yeah. miss it. What about the um, competitors in the space? You've had a handful of folks already go public, pave paths. What makes, what makes Plasmos different than some of the others that space tug and help deliver satellites to their So most of the companies that are in this area, and thanks for the question, um, such as Launcher, Impulse Space, and, and Momentus and others, they are focusing on delivering a payload into a specific orbit, which is great. This is what we are also interested to do. But they are not reusable, which we are. So that's the main differentiator. Hmm. So we bring back our system. They don't. Great. Anything else? Any other questions? Um, All right. How much money are you planning to raise for, uh, for, for this? And is the money required in order to deliver against your ambitious plan? So $13 million uh, for the first launch, if that's what you're asking. Um, but for the entire, you know, to get to the profitability, we are counting on uh, close to $60 million to get the company uh, on its own wheels. Thank you. All right, great. Thank you very much, Ali. Thank Give a round of applause. Thank you.